She's as a. I'll see you later, mate. I'm finally at the camp spot and it's actually relatively dry to what I thought it would be after all the rain. But check out this, this is just magical. Little freshwater streams, well it's a river actually and it's just, I can't fault it. It's crystal clear. Look at that. Today we're camping at a proper designated camping spot, unlike the other couple of times, because it's national park and that's the best thing to do. We've got the best thing about it is that there's toilets, so they'll come in handy, definitely. <laughs> but that way we're not doing any damage to the national park. So this is the camping spot. Just a bit of information there, the toilets. There's the sexy X trail. Max isn't here yet, so I'm just gonna go down for a little fish, have a cast. I doubt I'll catch anything, but I can always try. It's just so peaceful out here. Like, there's hardly any sounds. Odd car going past, but that's it. Everything else is just, seriously just birds chirping. Probably should have set the awning up before I came for the first time. <laughs> I got no idea how to do this. So I got the instructions out. I'll probably have to wait till Max comes here because he's got one. Is that him now? That's him now. <laughs> what the hell? So it's been raining in the past couple of days, so everything's pretty damp or wet. So we've got some firewood and we've got a fire started to make it a lot easier for us. So Max is just going to start it. Let's see if we can actually get it.
Fire's cranking now. Just need some firewood. How's the setup? No one else. Legendary. Don't leave the food unattended. Now burn it. One side's alright, one side's a bit burnt, but chicken sits with cheese. Can't go wrong with that. Mmm. That's alright. First catch of the day, little frog, <laughs> cute little thing. Before you want to handle these guys, you just want to wet your oh, wet your hands, so it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> and I just found him in that log there. We'll let him go. That's the man. It's underwater. Got four oysters I'm gonna chuck on the fire just for a little entree. Just want some hot coals. So they're not open, I'm just gonna chuck them on the coals and they'll be a lot easier to open. And they'll cook. One, and is that it? Yeah, that's it. Max has never had oysters before, so it's his first time. First oyster ever for Max. Tell us what you think. Pretty good, bit salty. Bit salty. One more in there. Oh, that's actually so good. Nothing to it, just half cooked in the coals. Bit of shelf. <laughs> These are some mussels that I caught earlier this week. I'm just gonna chuck them in. Oh yeah, that's hot enough, alright. And they're just gonna open. Some are already open, but they'll just open and they'll cook a bit better. So we got mussels, onion, tomato, garlic, pasta, and then we've got Steak from Max. Rump steak for anyone interested. Rump steak. How's it tasting? Is it good or not? Just be honest if it's good. That's really good actually. What was it? Beer? Oh, there's a. Beer, mussels, onion, garlic, tomato, a bit of pasta. Harry Young special to put five things together. I hope it works. <laughs> Past this time, you're undercooked. Quite undercooked, yeah. That's Don't actually good, but. Surprised myself. We're just gonna go to bed now, it's pretty late. And hopefully, tomorrow morning, good weather. Maybe a fish if we're lucky. Maybe not, but whatever. It's been a good day. Hopefully, tomorrow is good as well. See you then. It's a bit wet this morning. That's that's all right though. Just gonna have a couple of pancakes for breakfast. Nice. 
Oh. Good maple syrup. It goes a long way. Mm. It's the hardest part of camping to pack it up. But I want to. And it's actually fucking hard. <laughs> Obviously when I get home I'm going to hang this up, get all the dirt and it's still wet. But it won't be very comfortable next time you come. So it goes underneath. Once you get the hang of it it's really easy. I'm not the strongest man in the world. But I can do it. So anyone can do it. much catching and cooking but it was still so fun getting out of the city into nature no one else there nothing to disturb us that's it for another episode don't forget to like and subscribe comment anything you want to know follow me on instagram offshore underscore underscore adventures and i'll see you next time Yew. that's my biggest one it's a fair fair solid oyster it's quite a where it's on your legs <laughs> <laughs> it's in his shoe oh Jesus!